Hey, what is up guys? Jeremy here and welcome back to another tweak video. This is best tweaks of the week number three. If you guys haven't seen the previous episodes, I will leave the video links for those down in the description. So if you guys enjoy this week's lineup of tweaks and theme, be sure to check out the previous episodes. Uh, but anyways, we're going to jump right into this. The first tweak I got for you guys is called shortcuts. So if we force touch on the settings application, as you guys can see, with shortcuts, we have some new options here. We can put our device into safe mode, we can power it off, we can respring, and we can reboot. I love this tweak. It's so stupid and simple, but with how many tweaks I try out and use all the time, you know, being able to quickly respring my device is extremely handy and also being able to quickly reboot it. Uh, it just, it's a time saver tweak, being able to force touch that uh, settings app to do that. Now, if you guys don't have a device that has force touch, uh, there is a free city of tweak that will allow every iOS device to have it. It's called Forcey. I'll put a card up on screen if you guys want to check out my tutorial on that tweak. Next up, we have iCleaner. This is a free Cydia application, and it's a definite must-have. So if we go ahead and open up iCleaner, basically what it's going to do is clean up your device of all the unwanted crap. It would be cache and, you know, just unwanted files. Uh, you go ahead and you click on Clean in the upper right-hand corner there. It'll do its thing, and you'll basically just free up memory on your device. So if you guys have a smaller, you know, like 16-gigabyte iPhone, I would highly recommend this application. I typically use it, you know, once a week, once every two weeks, and it's usually about uh, one to three gigabytes of memory that it will clean up on my device. So it does free up a lot of memory, and it's just nice to keep your device, you know, fresh and cleaned out. Uh, so I'd highly recommend this. Again, it's called iCleaner. The next tweak I got for you guys is called NC Color. This is going to allow you to fully customize the color of your notification center. I have mine set up to a kind of gray or black color right now, uh, just because it kind of matches the theme that I'm running. Um, but you can basically pick any color in the rainbow to fully customize the way that your notification center looks. Stupid simple, it's free. Again, it's called NC Color. So the featured theme of this week is Vexilum, and it's also paired with Round iOS 8. So I have the Vexilum, you know, app icons, and then I have the Round with them as well. Similar to last week's, I'm just a sucker for Round icons, uh, but I really like the theme Vexilum. So I'll just kind of scroll through a couple of the pages here so you guys can get an idea of what the app icons look like. I actually featured this theme within a uh, Best iOS 9 Themes uh, video. I'll put a card up on screen and the video link for that in the description as well in case you guys want to discover some awesome iOS 9 themes. Uh, but I just really like the way that Vexilum looks and also paired with the round theme so they have the round icons. It just It's a really nice look for your device. The next tweak I got for you guys is Full Folder 9. So if we go to my folders here on the last page and we launch a folder, as you guys can see, it allows the folder to use the entire springboard, which I absolutely love. I think that Apple's uh, 3x3 folder system is actually pretty stupid and it wastes a lot of screen real estate on your device. Uh, but with Full Folder 9, you can customize your folders to be any layout you want. Uh, you can change the background, you can change um, you know, the blur effects, you can change, like I said, the layout, you can fit even more uh, applications in a folder than I have, but I just like the way that this looks. I think it's a, a four by seven layout, uh, and it just makes your folders a lot more functional. Again, that tweak is called Full Folder 9. The next tweak I got for you guys is Swipe Selection. This tweak has been around for a very long time, but it's honestly one of the most functional tweaks I do have installed, and it's just a huge time saver. So if we go into the notes application, uh, normally to kind of, you know, navigate your cursor through text, you got to tap and hold and use the annoying magnifying glass, which I don't think works. You know, it works, but it's just, it's not very quick and easy. With swipe selection, you can just swipe on your keyboard and your cursor will move to wherever you stop, basically. So, you know, being able to swipe back to the beginning of, you know, my note here is extremely fast. Being able to go back to the end of it is extremely quick as well. And if we swipe from the delete key, we can actually highlight text. So being able to highlight text is extremely fast as well. Instead of using these kind of little nubbies or whatever they are to uh, highlight where you want, which is honestly, you know, kind of annoying, you basically just swipe and, uh, you know, just navigating at your cursor anywhere in text is much easier. Again, this tweak is called Swipe Selection. So the last tweak I got for you guys is called Lock Plus. This is hands down one of the coolest tweaks 
of all time. It's probably the best tweak for customizing your lock screen. As you guys can see, I have a pretty awesome look. Uh, this Iron Man wallpaper, I don't actually have it on my device, so everybody that was asking me to tweet it, I don't actually have it. It comes with the theme that I'm using on my lock screen, uh, and that's due to Lock Plus. So if we swipe over on the side here, here are the Lock Plus options. Uh, the first thing you can do is load whatever themes you have installed on your device, and it's really cool how Lock Plus works. You just select the theme you want, swipe up, and then boom, your entire lock screen changes uh, to whatever theme you select. And it's just extremely quick and easy to change the entire look of your lock screen. This is a very in-depth tweak. There's a lot to it. I have a full review of it. So if you guys want to check out more about Lock Plus, I'll put a card up on screen. And I'll also leave the video link for this down in the description. But like I said, this is hands down one of the coolest tweaks you can get on your device. Being able to change the complete theme of your lock screen with just a couple of clicks is pretty awesome. So that's me pretty much it for this video, guys. Here are some more tweaks I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to throw a thumbs up down below. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. Uh, also, like I said, if you want to see previous episodes, the video links for those are in the description. And if you guys want to see more of these videos in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.